Hey friends, in this video, I will show you how to create software elements in Photoshop. So previously, I'll show, uh, I showed you how to create it in Adobe XD. Uh, on my Instagram, you can find the tutorial how to create it in Figma. But in this video, I'll show you how to create it in Adobe Photoshop. So let's get started. So first of all, let's create a new document. So I already created that one, uh, which is uh, 1600 but by 1200 so you can use it after for maybe a dribble shot or somewhere else but here uh, I created just this one just for these tutorial purposes uh, I added one more new absolutely empty layer so let's delete this one and create a new one uh, here let's choose rounded rectangle tool and create a rounded rectangle square or just rounded rectangle uh, let's change uh, corner radius to anything that seems right to you for example in this case this seems right to me it's something like this uh, so let's change it the size of it to the same size so it will be square oh I right, select so this one let's remove yep done so now we have perfect square. Um, usually I prefer to work with a little bit like grayish, bluish color. It's not just pure white. So what we'll do is we'll change the color of the shape to something different. Something like F1, F3, F7. Yeah, now we have this shape. Now let's change the background color to this color as well. Just click here, select this. Uh, color from the shape, press OK and press Option or Alt um, Delete or Backspace. Depends on um, if you work on PC, then it will be Alt Backspace. If you work on Mac, it will be Option Delete. So now we have like what do we have? Just wow, just one color. But when we select our shape, it will add. Uh, white stroke to it, like five pixel stroke. Not sure that this is pure white. Yeah, this is white. And okay. Now, if I select another layer, now we you see that we have a square, we have a background which is the same color as our square. And I added this stroke just to show you that you can, um, so you can see the layer itself. What else I'll, I'm going to show you actually in Photoshop, sometimes people ask me about how, how can I change the stroke position, like inside stroke, outside, center. So actually in Photoshop CC, you can find it here, right here. If you click, so the first option is the stroke will be inside. The second option is the stroke is in the mid, right in the center of the edges of the shape. And the last one is outside. It means that if when I deselect this one and select, as you can see, it's boom, it's outside of our shape. Um, for this purpose, it doesn't matter because I just I just want to show you how to create soft UI. So now when we created the shape, double click on the layer, and then you will see different options here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add, we can remove actually this one. No, okay. Um, I already created that before, but I'll show you from the very beginning how to do that. So from the very beginning, once you uh, go to this layer style settings, uh, you can select drop shadow. And for the drop shadow, choose uh, for the color, you can choose anything, but when you will just start, it will be something like this. And when you will open, it will look like, yeah, exactly like this. It will be 120 degrees, 100% uh, opacity probably, and black color. But it looks not right in my opinion. Oh, also it will be something, yeah, yeah, like this. So now you're, right. oh my God. Yes. So now we have like basic options for the Photoshop. But we're going to change it to the angle to 135 because in this case, what I'm going to show that the light goes from this top left corner right to the shape and will be reflected 
uh, on the other side right here. So for the distance, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change it to 40. It doesn't matter what, just, just choose the distance that the distance that feels right to you. It shouldn't be something like if I uh, if I'll tell you make it 40 and you will make it 40. Just try to find the right distance that feels right for you. And for the size, I'll make this the size. And this is just uh, the blur the blurriness of this shadow. I'm gonna make it twice bigger than distance, so it's 80. And I'm gonna change this black color on the shadow to the color on the background. Now we don't see the shadow at all, but I'm gonna move this color to somewhere here, maybe, maybe somewhere here. Yeah, now we have a little bit of color on the background. And also, we made it a little bit darker. Now I click OK and decrease the opacity of the layer. Just like this. Something, again, that feels right for you. So we change that. Now we're going to add another shadow. So as you can see, I already have it because I already clicked plus uh, before. But now I'm going to create an absolutely new one. So I click plus here. So now we see another shadow here. But for this one, actually, this is absolutely the same, uh, has absolutely the same settings as we create for the previous shadow. But we're going to change it to the opposite side. So now we're going to show the light because what makes um, these soft UI elements soft? The light and the shadow. So when we have just shadow, it looks like a card. But if we will add this another white shadow or like kind of reflection of the light, then you will understand that, oh, actually this creates the volume of the shape. And exactly this thing creates the shape such soft and smooth and beautiful. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna change the color to white. This is the first thing. Another thing, what we're gonna do, we're gonna change this angle to minus 45. It means that the shadow will reflect on this side. And to make it visible, we'll change opacity to 100. For the rest of it, like distance and size, we'll keep absolutely the same. Because in this case, we'll show that um, we have absolutely like the same volume of the, of the shape and just press OK. Now, if we will deselect this um, stroke, you will see that we have, we have this soft UI element. You can go a little bit further, and for this layer, you can add also inner shadow here. Now it's like, wow, what's that? <laughs> Actually, nothing changed. Uh, like, this is just basic inner shadow. But if we're gonna, if we'll change the angle to 135, uh, we'll change the distance to something like 20 and size to 40. Now, as you can see, we have this like inner shadow of the of this shape. If we'll change it to normal, it will be easier for us to work with uh, different colors. And if we'll change this color to the color of the background and we'll make it a little bit darker like this one so now you can see that we have something like plate maybe and if we'll add another inner shadow and in this case we will change it to minus 45 exactly like we did for the previous one and we'll change the color of it to white and change this opacity so now as you can see we have display and even for this one I'm going to make it a little bit darker so you will see the volume of the shape. Boom! Now we see this plate, kind of plate, but we don't want to create plate. If you want to, of course, you can use it. But in this case, I'm going to show you the, uh, the same element as I showed on Instagram. So we just change the angle here for the um, dark one to 135. And for the for this one, for the white one, we'll change to minus 45. 
done. So now, no, we don't need stroke. So now we, what do we have here? Minus 45 for this one and this one, global light. If we'll select global, um, use global light if we'll deselect that, then we'll have this perfect smooth shadow. Let's change it to 135 again. Yeah, awesome. We'll remove this one here as well. And this one, boom, what happened? Minus 45. Yeah, perfect. This is this is the perfect plate. I forgot to deselect this, use global light. But now if we will change this one to this one to light and a little bit like change the opacity of this layer and this one to dark to what we had in the previous one. No, it's too much. It creates too much volume. Yeah, like this. So now we have this almost perfect uh, smooth object. Let's add a little bit of opacity of the white. Yeah, like this. And now this object even smoother than we had uh, on my Instagram tutorial. Uh, again, you can play with these shadows. You can create this kind of really smooth element or you can use this one. Uh, now, if you will select, for example, this layer and press right click here and choose copy style. Let's find this copy style. Copy layer style. Now let's select this layer and move it a little bit here. Choose another shape, maybe in this case we'll use this polygon. And now let's apply this, you know, now let's apply this layer style to this one. And what do we see here? That when I select this layer, now this layer is applied to this shape as well. If we'll add these shadows, now boom, smooth, smooth layers. So, uh, I hope you guys love this tutorial. Um, maybe in the next tutorial, I'll show you something uh, more complicated, how to create real designs uh, with these smooth elements. But if you like this tutorial, smash this like button, subscribe to my channel, and in the future, I'll show you much more. Enjoy. So, see ya and bye.